Welcome back everyone. Today we're checking out something a little bit different. This is the Reed Glide Scooter. It is an electric assist scooter and it works really well. Pretty simple little device with a throttle on the right hand side and power on the top of that. It then has a touch sensitive button on the main screen with three modes. As well you can turn on a night mode which dims the display and turns on the front and rear light. Overall, it's a pretty intuitive machine, and in this section, we're leaving on mode three, and that goes 25 kilometers an hour. On mode two, you're at 15 kilometers an hour, and in mode one, you're at 7k an hour. Overall, it's a nice looking device. Uh, the cables are kept away really clean. It's got a nice look to it, nothing too complicated. It does have some reflective stripping on it, and Bumps, you do feel a little bit. It has some rear suspension, but it's nothing crazy fancy. And it has airless tires, so you won't ever worry about a puncture, but it will be a little bit harsher on the rougher, more off-road terrain. It's quality up in the handle. Grips are really nice. They are nice and soft, easy to use. The throttle itself is really easy to use. There's no issues there. It's very smooth feeling does come with a bell as well as a handbrake and that controls the front and rear brake. This is a folding one so you are able to pop that little clip, fold it up, easier to throw in the back of a car or storage. It makes it actually really easy to carry when it's folded and it works really really well. This is a max speed of 25k an hour but obviously rolling downhill or such you will gain a little bit more speed. This is a 300 watt motor, but it does have a significant amount of like engine brake to it where it'll slow it down. So you don't fly uncontrollably down hills. As you come to an uphill though, you'll see pretty quickly here, we start losing speed. Definitely doesn't have like a high torque motor, like an e-bike or anything like that. But for such a small little motor in that front wheel, it does really well at pulling you up the hills and it's still a pretty nippy little pace. Doesn't look it, but this is a fairly steep hill and we slow down only a small amount. As Soon as you go back down though, it does accelerate right back up and you're cruising along there around that 25K an hour mark. So along with that front motor, it has this rear brake on the fender there. You can easily push down and slow yourself. I didn't really use it too much. I just used the handbrake there, which controls a disc at the rear, as well as that front kind of engine braking too. It does come with a little kickstand, which is really nice. Just easy for storage and putting it away. There's no real additional things you need to buy once you have this. It's just good to go. These light up handles are super cool, I think. And um, when you press the brakes, they do change and activate. And especially at nighttime, like, that's a big little key feature as well. It does have a brake activated rear light, which works really well too. My overall impression of this thing is it's pretty nice. For $800, you get a really usable kind of last mile transportation. The max range of this thing is 28K, but through my testing, I've been getting around the 16K before you start feeling some slowdown in the motor. It doesn't just cut off completely. And I assume if you were in more of mode two or mode one, you'd get closer to that full 28K. In turbo mode or boost mode or lightning mode, whatever you want to call it, it definitely cuts it down a little faster, but it's still making it a good amount of distance, no issues, and that's really all you need this for. You're not going to be doing 28K in one direction or even 10K on this thing. This is a last mile vehicle and it works really well. Charge times are pretty fast. You just kind of plug it in and ignore it. Doesn't seem to be too many indicators to say when it's charging or such on the scooter itself, but it works really well. Like I say, if you're looking for kind of a short term vehicle which stores away really easy, an electric scooter might be something you're into and affordability wise, they're really cheap. All right guys, thanks for watching. Good luck.